We are less than a week away from the launch of one of the most interesting gaming headsets to date. The Xbox Wired Stereo Headset. Now I know at face value it just seems like whatever. Why, well, why should I even care? We have tons and tons of wired gaming headsets on the market already. Well this is so much more than just a wired gaming headset. But first, let's break down the specs. You have 40 millimeter drivers, volume and audio mix controls on the ear cups themselves, foam cushioning with a pleather wrap, supports high fidelity Windows Sonic, Dolby Atmos, and DTS headphones, and uses a 3.5 millimeter jack for connection. Do these specs minus the jack sound familiar? Yes! They are the exact same specs as the Xbox wireless headset. So for $40 less, you're getting a headset that mimics what I think is one of the best gaming headsets you can buy as an Xbox owner while not having to worry about keeping it charged. Okay, so why is this interesting? We see budget-friendly options all the time from companies like Razer with the Black Shirt line or HyperX with the Cloud line. But for this to come from Microsoft themselves is very interesting. Let's take a look at Sony. They have their Pulse 3D headset, which is the direct competitor to the Microsoft Xbox wireless headset but no other option exists. And on top of that, Xbox designed the wireless gaming headset in a specific way that it works just like their controllers. You just turn it on, it instantly connects to your Xbox with virtually zero latency, no issues. So they didn't have to make this headset. And honestly, it's a question of why they're making this headset. And I think that this just shows that Xbox truly does want to be in every single household they can be. Now, if you're in the market for a new headset, or say you're willing to buy a new headset right now, should you wait for the launch of this headset? Absolutely, if you're okay with why. Though I do love the original Xbox wireless headset, it's really only useful for Xbox users because of that Direct Connect pairing. Beyond that, with Bluetooth, you just have too much latency to actually be useful for gaming. So this headset can literally be used by anyone, anywhere. You can connect it to your PC, you can connect it to your Switch, you can connect it to your mobile phone, and dare I say, you can use it with your PS5. So if this headset can deliver on the same performance like the wireless version offers, like it's touting in the specs, I could honestly think this could be one of the best wired gaming headsets made to date. So are you planning to check these out or have you pre-ordered them yet? Let me know down in the comments below. Be sure to check out my review that I did on the Xbox wireless headset and we'll catch you next time.